Today I messed up by possibly losing my job offer because I was being dumb during a drug test. Before I start, I know how dumb this is going to sound. Looking back I know what I did was stupid, so I don't need people telling me what I already know. So I got a job offer and they wanted me to do a drug test, today I went to get that done. What I did was pee in the toilet, and then take the cup and scoop the water, like I said, I now realize how dumb this sounds. I have never had to take a drug test before this and just assumed this is what I was supposed to do, nobody ever told me anything. I have never done drugs a day in my life, but I now understand this looks sketchy because people try to dilute their urine. So basically the nurse lady got mad at me, understandably. They made me go to a different location and do an observed test with the doctor, and I did that fine. They have to send both samples to the lab to inspect them. What I'm afraid of now is they'll think I purposely diluted the first sample and revoked my job offer. Once again, please don't insult me in the comments, I know what I did was extremely dumb. I am probably the first one in the history of mankind to do this. I am thinking maybe I'm not smart enough for this job if I can't even do this right. Too long. Didn't read. Did first drug test wrong and had to redo. Now I'm afraid my job offer will get revoked. Today I messed up by using medical terms with my osteopath. I am slash 30 and with English as a second language, important for later, have been going to an osteopath for the past year. Turning 30 comes with minor back pains and I am a digital artist that sits around quite a lot, so me and my osteopath became friendly quite quickly. This happened around the fifth or sixth time I went in. We had been working on my back, but this time I went in for neck pains. While telling this to the doc. I decided I would use the medical term, because me smart. To this day I am still hunted by the face of an osteopath that was asked by a patient if he could do something for my stiff cervix, please. Cervical. The word I was looking for was cervical spine, but because in my native language cervical is a synonym of neck, I just went with the most familiar word to that in English. My doc. Literally fake cough to hide his laugh. We cleared it out laughing together at it, but to this day I still cringe a little whenever I think about it. Too long. Didn't read. Ask my osteopath to crack my cervix. Today I messed up by taking my 12 SD Mastiff on the train. Today I messed up by taking my dog on the train. Going down to London but the train stopped and shut down leaving us with no power between stations because of a problem on the line ahead. We had been sitting about a half hour with no air conditioning on a really hot train when our dog Dave starts to groan. You okay Dave? I turn to my wife. Think he needs the toilet. You work what the hell am I gonna do? Sounds like he really needs. Have no choice. Can't get off train as no power. Decide to take him to the toilet at least that way it'll be easier to clean up after. The second I stand up Dave starts trying to do his business. Quickly shoving his rear with one hand and half dragging him with other I manage to maneuver him to the toilet. Oh no. It's one of those tiny train toilets that you can hardly get in never mind fit a 12 SD Mastiff. Gonna have to reverse him in. So take hand from rear to reach for door handle and wedge his rear with my leg to stop him from squatting. There was my mistake. Whoosh. Next I know there I am on a packed train with a big trail of poo trickling down my leg, over my trainer and into a small lake he's creating on the floor. No. Nice woman tries to go get guard slash conductor for help. Comes back with stack of about a dozen paper napkins. No water at toilet as train turned off. Thankfully she gets my wife who, being a real girl scout, has not just our water but a 2 liters bottle for dog and a roll of kitchen paper and carpet spray in case of dog accidents as we were going to her parents and dog had a few incidents that week where he had been sick after wolfing his dinner. After the whole kitchen roll and about 20 dog poo bags slash spray and holding leg over toilet while pouring water down it I managed to kinda clean up, with a lingering smell OFC, when the train finally decided to set back off on our journey. Needless to say wasn't my favorite train journey ever.